While your data entry might be running smoothly, one important thing you need to be aware of is having to run, having to enter wrong data. Especially when you're preparing template for people to use, a key thing to ensure is how can you ultimately guard against wrong entries within the workbook. A way to go about this is by the concept of data validation. Data validation in simple terms is just a way to validate the cells that you have in the workbook in specific columns and limiting the cell or the set of cells or restricting them to certain values or certain entries such that when anybody enters something other than what you have defined to be a correct entry, it throws an error and Excel rejects such error, such entries. Let's say this in a moment. Now we have these details here. We've entered all of these details for now. Let's say we want to enter another detail here and then I type in Bimbola here. The product is rice, for instance. The date is 1-1-2024 and then the amount erroneously I typed minus 100. By default, whatever we type into any cell, Excel takes it. And it's illogical to say that we have an amount for a particular product to be negative 100. That is indeed an error. A way to guard against this kind of error is to validate the cells. When we want to validate the cells, a very quick way to go about that is to go to, first off, our deleted entry this entire entry I think the out is potentially if this would be a template that you use just for data entry you may decide that you want to select the entire cells in that column but for now what I would do just for the case of this demo is just to select a few cells like this once I've selected a few cells I go to the data tab and I come here in the data tools I will see data validation I'll select data validation, it gives me this pop-up and now it's asking that how do, what kind of validation do I want to define for this column. What I would do is to come here to this allow, allow any value, what it means is whatever is being typed into this column, it allows it, that is the default. So if somebody, in, instead of writing 200 for 200, comes here to write the word, it would accept it because that is indeed a valid entry if you are selecting any value which is the default so the first is to come here to the drop down and then we say that this has to be a whole number that is the first thing it must be a whole number that is the first validation we are setting which means if we leave it this way and then I click on ok for instance uh, ok I need to fill in this too so let me just put up anything here to say 100 and maximum i'll say 500 and i click on ok for instance and then somebody comes here to type in 200 in words it will not take it because we have said that this column should only accept all numbers so i'll go back i'll select the set of cells again then shortcut alt avv that takes me to data validation so I come here to data validation and then instead of having the minimum to be 100, I want this cell not to take any numbers that are negative because potentially we cannot have amount to be negative and our amount can't be zero in our business. So what we would say is that the data, once we have asked it to select all number, we say the data should be greater than maybe zero. So once we say greater than zero, it already would nullify anything that is less than zero, which are the negative numbers, and zero would not be included as a valid entry as well. So I'll click on OK. And now if I come here to rewrite that entry, Bimbola here, and then the product rise, the date 1 1 2023, and then the amount zero, it won't take that, okay? And then I say minus 100, we won't take that as well. And except if I put a valid entry as one. So this is valid for this case. 
The other thing we may want to do is also to validate the date column. How do we validate the date column? Maybe we just opened the business in 2024. So we do not expect that there will be any entry in this particular column that would be earlier than 2024. For instance, this date 2022 here is, a, is a, an invalid entry. 2023 is an invalid entry. 2021 is an invalid entry. So how do we do that? The same way I can highlight this set of columns out AVV to go to data validation. Allow, we say that the data that should go in here should be just dates. And then the date should be greater than if I want this to accept any date in 2024, then I can say that it should be greater than or equal to 1 1 2024. If you think about it for the moment, because if I say that it should be just greater than, it means that 1 1 2024 would not be included, would not be accepted, it will only accept from 2 1 2024 which is the second day in january 2024 so if you want to include the first day in january 2024 then it should be greater than or equal to or you select the last day in 2023 so i have this here like this and then i have another entry video and then this is um sweet and i say 1 12 2023 this should be rejected good I say 1, 1, 2024, 20, this should be accepted now and we can continue with this. But one thing to bear in mind is data validation has to be set before you start entering your data. Once you have some data already entered and those are wrong entries, the data validation would not automatically delete them. You need to manually collect all of these and um, before you continue with your new entry so it's just something to bear in mind and also using the forms data validation would also work properly so if i say that uh, uh the me here product is um, table um date is let's let me put a wrong date uh like um 25 12 and then amount is minus 200 like this and i hit enter data validation would also work even with the forms all right so in the next lesson we'll see how we can create validations for a column like that of the product and also customer name